Hello friends, I'm Corey Ryan, Chief Communications Officer at Leander ISD. Welcome back to another edition of Hot Topics from Leander ISD. I'm a friend of Bruce's. We have other friends of Bruce's here to share and learn um, some details about things that are going on that are no, that we know are in the hearts and minds of our families. First, let's start with our Interim Chief Technology Officer, Dr. Laura Lynn Arterbury, sharing some details about devices and our plans to increase accessibility for technology for our students. So we are excited to allow students to uh, keep the devices over the summer. We know that um, remote learning has been a little different and we wanna make sure that students are able to continue this learning on their own through the summer. And so we know that by giving them um, the devices and not collecting them, that that will help with that process. So um, both secondary students and elementary students will be able to keep their devices all summer long until the next school year. Once the school year begins on campus, we will be collecting the devices that need to be collected, but at this time, um, they will just be keeping their devices until the next school year begins. MLISD and secondary students can re-participate now if they choose to, uh, but we will not be recovering those devices until next school year. So they have from now until the beginning of school year, to re-participate in the MLISD program. So um, I think our goal is just to make sure as many students as possible have access. And so um, by allowing students to keep the devices over the summer, we hope that this will help out families during this time. Our next hot topic comes from Assistant Superintendent John Graham talking about our plans for graduation, which we announced last week. We're moving graduation to July 9th through the 11th at the HEB Center. We feel like this gives our graduates the best shot at a normal ceremony while still providing us flexibility to maintain a safe and healthy environment. The graduation ceremony will follow one of three scenarios. Scenario one, traditional graduation. Scenario two, limited seating with full ceremony. Uh, this may cause us to have to provide tickets to only allow so many people in from each family, but it still allows us a full ceremony. Scenario three, in-person experience for our seniors with full virtual experience for everyone else. It is important to note in scenario three, parents will be allowed into the center to see their graduates walk across the stage. We will, we will communicate our plan and what scenario we will use no later than June 19th. It is important for us to provide the best experience for our seniors. We know that they have lost a lot over the last few weeks. And, and so this provides us the best flexibility and opportunity to provide a full graduation experience. We have another hot topic from Assistant Superintendent John Graham talking now about the way that students will be able to retrieve personal items from our school buildings and return items to school for next school year. In the next few weeks, our principals will communicate with our students the process that they have developed at their campus. The process will include an opportunity for our students to provide feedback on what items they have at our campuses and where those items are located. Once the principals have that information, our campus staff will bag up those items, place them in a, in a labeled bag, and then our principals will communicate what time, date, and location that the students may come up to the campus to pick up those bags. Students will not be allowed inside our buildings at any point. Our staff will, will retrieve those items and bag them up. Students will be allowed to come up to campus, but they must stay in their vehicle. And when they arrive on campus, our staff will carry out the bag to the student and place it in the vehicle. We are doing this to maintain a safe and healthy environment for our students and for our staff. So please be looking for communication from your principal in the next couple of weeks to be able to retrieve your items. Our next hot topic comes from our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Matt Benz, talking about assessments and spring plans. So the Texas Education Agency has canceled uh, the standardized testing that usually occurs during the spring. What does that mean? That means the end of course assessments or the EOCs at the high school level have been canceled as well as the STAR tests for all students that usually uh, occur in the spring months. Um, International Baccalaureate has canceled their exams. 
as well, but College Board has moved forward with advanced placement testing online. Um, as far as within Leander ISD, um, our teachers are focused on assessing uh, student mastery of concepts and skills through the activities and the work that they submit. So there will be no final exams in our Leander ISD courses. But important to note, if a student is taking a dual credit course or any other course through a college, that their teachers at the college level will have discretion with um, any type of testing that they might or may not uh, want to do at the end of the year. Thank you. Our final hot topic comes from Assistant Superintendent of Pathways and Innovation, Krista Carleen, here to talk about AP testing. AP exams begin on Monday, May 11th with the Physics C Mechanics test. We want to wish you all the best on the exams as we know you worked hard to prepare for this moment. The exams will be online and taken at home. If you have not already done so, please go to the AP Central website and under AP Coronavirus Updates, you will find two items that will help you prepare for exam day. One is an interactive demo that we highly encourage you to take and the other is the exam day checklist. We want to use the same integrity with online testing that we would at a testing site and you can find information regarding the security of the testing at AP Central website. Leander ISD update number 25 will be released this Friday and we'll have information regarding AP testing and links for further information, so please look for that update. Again, we are so proud of all the work you've done to get to this point and we wish you all the best on your exams.